The overall goal of this procedure is to obtain efficient gene transfection in the embryonic mouse central nervous system at a desired developmental time point and area of the brain. This is accomplished first by preparing precision capillaries and needle type electrodes to prevent uterine damage. The second step of the procedure is to learn a unique holding method of embryos using a fiber optic light cable to visualize small embryos for targeted DNA injection. The third step of the procedure is to perform electroporation with stick type electrodes on the uterine surface in order to transfect DNA into superficial parts of the brain. The final step of the procedure is to perform electroporation with needle type electrodes into deeper structures of the brain such as the thalamus and hypothalamus. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show cortical layer specific transfection or efficient transfection in the thalamus. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like regular in utero electroporation is in having greater visibility and control of electroporation site of embryos in the uterus. We use a fiber optic light cable which makes it possible to visualize embryos from E9.5 and needle type electrodes to transfer plasmid DNA into deeper part of the brain such as thalamus and hypothalamus. This method can help answer key questions about the developing brain such as neuronal differentiation, brain patterning, neuronal connectivity. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because it's difficult to shape needle electrodes and to correctly position the uterus and embryo. Visual demonstration of this method is critical to see how to make precise needle electrodes and how to position embryos to electroporate. Since these two